Nehemiah 6 verse 2 to 3. So Sambalat and Geshem sent a message asking me to meet them at one of the villages in the plain of Ono. But I realized they were plotting to harm me. So I replied by sending this message to them, I am engaged in a great work, so I can't cone. Why should I stop working to come and meet with you? From this scripture, we understand that God's call to Nehemiah was very clear. He was to rebuild the walls in Jerusalem. But powerful people opposed his assignment and tried to disrupt him in any way they could. They sent him many messages asking for a meeting. Their intentions sounded innocent, but Nehemiah knew their real motives. Nehemiah and his colleagues were accused of planning to rebel. And Nehemiah was accused of plotting to gain power for himself. But he told them that there was no truth to their accusations. He knew they were lying and just trying to intimidate them, imagining that they could break their resolve and stop the work. Nehemiah knew he was simply obeying God. They wanted him to stop but he stayed focused to be distracted. Nehemiah continued the work with even greater determination. Because of his determination, Nehemiah completed God's assigned task. Despite the distractions and oppositions, the wall was built. We all know what it is like to experience interruptions and other distractions. They happen every day. Many are important but some simply keep us from accomplishing God's assignments. Today, think about the distractions you face. Are any of these keeping you from accomplishing God's work? Ask God to give you a clear sense of His calling and His priorities for you. Then be alert to distractions and don't allow them to disrupt your mission. Remain faithful and stay focused on His call.